Hey there, we're talking about uh, classifying quadrilaterals today. In um, our current unit, we're talking about shapes and area and perimeter and all those kinds of good things. And uh, in order to get started, we really need to know what our different shapes are. And specifically today, we're talking about uh, quadrilaterals uh, here. So there's not going to be a whole lot of example problems for you to do or any today, but there's a lot for you to write down. So I expect you to go ahead and uh, pause whatever you need to to get things written down. So what is a quadrilateral? It's a two-dimensional, meaning it's flat. It doesn't have any uh, third dimension to it, like a, a box. That would be called a prism. Here, a quadrilateral is just two dimensions and four-sided figure. That's the basic definition of a quadrilateral. Quad, if you remember from Greek and Latin, means four. Lateral means sided, so four-sided. Each two sides intersect exactly two other sides, one at each endpoint. There are no two sides that are part of the same line. So that just means we can't say this is a side and it connects right here and that's a side. This is all part of the same line. Uh, so this would not count as two different sides here. Uh, they have to make a, a corner, so to speak. So here are some examples of quadrilaterals. We have a square that looks like this. A uh, rectangle, a rhombus, a parallelogram, and a trapezoid. And we're going to get into what makes a square a square, a rectangle a rectangle, and so on. But here are some examples of uh, common quadrilaterals. Square, rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram, and trapezoid. All right, so what is a parallelogram? It is a quadrilateral, so four-sided, and two pairs of the sides are parallel sides. So this side, the opposite sides are parallel. This side is parallel with this one. This side is parallel with this one. And you can see these markings that are added here. You just have to find its pair. That This single arrow means it's parallel to the other single arrow. This one has a double arrow, so it's parallel to the other double arrow. Same with here. These two are parallel. These two are parallel. Uh, what does parallel mean for the record? Have we talked about what parallel means? Hopefully you remember parallel means two sides that are equidistant apart that are never going to touch. So like railroad tracks, they're never going to get any closer together or further apart. Otherwise that train will not go on them. So they're always going to be the same distance apart. Sometimes we have a parallelogram and they're kind of slanted. Uh, this side is parallel to this side. This top is parallel to this bottom. So essentially, it's a four-sided figure that has two pairs of parallel sides. That's what makes a parallelogram. Notice that sometimes it can be um, nice and straight corners like this, and sometimes they can be slanted. So what is a rectangle? Again, a rectangle actually is a parallelogram. It's a, a quadrilateral, four sides. But the only difference here is it's a parallelogram. So opposite sides are parallel. This side is parallel to this. This side is parallel to this. But here's your extra part that you need to pay attention to. A, a rectangle also has four right angles. So this doesn't get to be a slanted one like we had before. This one is not a rectangle. It's a parallelogram, but not a rectangle. This one, because we've got these little corners, this designates that it's a right angle, which means it's 90 degrees. Um, that's what this little square means and then opposite sides are parallel. These two slashes mark up with those two slashes. So a rectangle is a quadrilateral. It's also a parallelogram. Opposite side lengths are equal or parallel, and it has four right angles, so four 90-degree angles. All right, a rhombus, again, is a parallelogram, but all four sides are equal length. So notice these markings tell us that the four sides are equal, they're equal length. These four sides are equal length. These four sides are equal length. If it's a parallelogram, that also means that this side here should be parallel to this side. This side should be parallel to that side. So they should be parallel as well as equal side length. So a rhombus, again, four sides, all of these are quadrilaterals. It is a parallelogram, but all four sides are the same length. A square happens to be a quadrilateral. It's also a parallelogram. These are parallel. Opposite sides are parallel. It's also a, what was our last one? Yep, a rhombus, because all four side lengths have to be equal. But then 
it has to also have four right angles. Notice these markings here. So a square has equal side lengths, all four equal side lengths, four 90 degree angles, so four right angles. This side is parallel to this side, this side is parallel to this side. So everything that we've learned today, if you add them all up together, they equal a square. It is, like we said, a quadrilateral. It is a parallelogram. It also is a rectangle because it has four, uh, oops, I forgot my L. And it is also a rhombus. Now, it's kind of one of those things. A square can be a rhombus, but a rhombus isn't always a square, only when it has those four right angles. So you have to be careful in how you go about things. So here's ultimately how it went. Everything we talked about today was a quadrilateral. From there, we went to parallelograms. That's kind of the most common thing. Uh, it's just four sides and opposite sides are parallel. From a parallelogram, it can go to a rectangle, which means it's a parallelogram with four right angles, four 90 degree angles. Or if it doesn't have 90 degree angles, but all four sides are equal, it can be a rhombus. And only a square, it's only a square if it's absolutely all of these things all together, then it would also be considered a square. I know it gets a little confusing, but you need to know these properties of quadrilaterals. So I hope you have them all written down because part of your assignment tomorrow is going to be to classify uh, different shapes according to whether or not they're quadrilaterals, parallelograms, rectangles, rhombuses, or squares. Um, and we'll be having a little quiz on that as well. So with that, I'm going to leave you. Hopefully you have complete notes for tomorrow. If not, go back and um, pause it to make sure you have them written down. And I'll see you tomorrow.